Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. In my last video I essentially walked you over the complete solution for async callback pattern for orchestrating uh, you know spark jobs uh, to EMR serverless. Let me show you a one step even further than that. So basically whenever we submit a job this step function is going to create an EMR serverless cluster on the fly. It's going to then start the application. It's going to submit the job and wait for a callback. The EMR job is going to work on the job right asynchronously. Whenever it is finished, depending upon one hour, one day, one month, etc., it's going to reply back to the step function. The step function will resume its execution. It's going to stop the application. It's going to wait for the application to stop and then delete the cluster. So which means we are creating clusters on the fly, which means anytime we submit a job, it's going to create a cluster, start the application, submit the job, the job will be done, it's going to reply and everything will be terminated. So let's see this in action, right? Again, this is pretty similar when you want to develop a data platform, right? So when you're developing a platform, you want to give an ability to the person to select a few options, right? For example, what is the job type like Spark or Hive, right? Uh, how many workers you need, right? And everything behind the scenes, the roles are created. Everything is created on the fly is what I'm trying to say. So let me show you a demo and uh, sure enough, you will really, really love it. And again, all the code will be given in the description, okay? So this is the uh, JSON um, for the step function. Again, I'll show you everything in action sh shortly. Again, this is the JSON and this is a sample input that we are gonna give to the step function. Here, we basically specify the script path right where the job is saved the configuration the conf file the execution time the job name the role um, again um, which architecture we want to use x86 the version of emr right the type as spark uh, the vpc and the subnet everything i'm basically passing in a json all right what i do want to show you is i'm, I'm gonna uh, again i just tested this out so again if you observe there is no currently application here right now let me show you everything in action uh, if I can actually come here, I'm going to submit this now. Okay. So come here, submit this. Before I submit, I just want to show you a template. So the the job that I have, I guess that's the one. So the EMR job that I have is pretty straightforward, right? So your Spark application or the business logic will go inside here. And once the job is completed, it will send the success to the step function. If it's something failed, it's going to send the failure notification. That's what it does. So ready for the automation? All right, so let me, okay, I'm gonna click on the button, okay? Three, two, one, start. All right, so at this point, it's trying to create, um, observe this. So it will basically, so so the cluster is created, as you can see, there's a cluster called data team. Inside that, we should have a application called, uh, again, this is an application. And again, uh, the job has been submitted to the EMR, and as you can see, it's in the pending state. Now, again, uh, once the job goes into the running state, again, the job is gonna work and it's gonna respond back to the step function. At this point, the step function has basically paused its ex execution, right? So hopefully this makes sense. Again, I'll leave all the code and resources in the description section below. So if, if needed, again, the step function is very, very generalized that, uh, you know, you can basically, it's very generalized, right? So basically you're passing a bunch of variables and based on the variable, it will create the cluster on fly, submit the job, everything is done on the fly, right? So now waiting here. So again, it's in the pending state. Again, if you observe uh, the step function over here, I might zoom in a little bit here. So after the job is completed, I have a wait for two minutes because we want to wait, uh, uh, you know, we just don't want to issue directly the stop application because it might get an error. So you might want to add a little bit delay and then wait. So as you can see, the application is in the pending state. And what you observe on the screen over here, this uh, gibberish over here, it's basically a token, which means the EMR job. Um, so the job has been submitted and the, the, the once the EMR job is complete, uh, it has to reply back on this task token, right? So, um, so at this point, it's still in the pending state. It's really great because, you know, it creates the cluster on fly and then basically it deletes everything at the end of the project, right? So I guess it's a pretty good way, you know, if you guys are uh, developing a data platform, I think, and if you are also invested in EMR heavily, 
these are great uh, ways to you know aut automate and orchestrate things and think about it right that json that i just showed you that could be stored in dynamo db or any database right so there might be a beautiful ui or uh, right where you can select all these options and behind the scenes all these things happen right so hopefully that give you like a big uh, picture this is what i wanted to say so now it's in the schedule state right and observe all these configuration was passed as well right so everything is happening on the fly at this point as i said so i'm simply waiting at this point here you can see the application is in the started state uh, this is in the scheduled states still so i'm going to wait and again this might take a while right because it has to go through this entire process right but what's going to happen after the job is complete it's going to wait and then it's going to issue a stop command so the the emr serverless uh, application is going to stop after it has stopped it will wait for the application to stop and then it's going to delete uh, that application so yeah everything is basically created and uh, uh, on fly once the job is complete everything is uh, deleted at this point so i i simply have to wait so here, here you can see now it's in the running state right and the job has completed so if i refresh here it's in the running state as you can see it's a success state that that is why i added a 2 minutes delay so after a job has replied its status it will wait for about a minute or two and then after the execution will continue after this is done observe right now the application is in the started state automatically uh, this will issue a stop command it will stop this and at the end it would delete everything up so what i'm trying to show you is uh, look at the payload that i wanted to show you right so the payload itself is very ge generic right so observe the script path you can specify what configuration you want execution time the job name you can give the arn right here are the cluster settings right if you want a hive job simply change this to hive you can select the different emr versions everything is pretty generic you change the json and um, you know behind the scene all, uh, you know on the fly all those all those settings will be altered right so it's the step function is sort of like a template here is is what i wanted to really explain at this point so this will go through a delay uh, meanwhile uh, since this is executing um, what i do wanted to sh also show if you guys want to perform this exercise uh, you know come here uh, this json will be given to you right so simply come here i'm just showing you the steps okay create step function and click on write and that's it then click on next and then save it right that's it once you have saved it then you can tweak your uh, input parameters that i have here right based on your input parameters uh, it will create your emr's serverless uh, cluster and then it will submit the job and then of course destroy that right so it's still in the wait phase again i think 1 minute is decent enough but i have added about 2.5 minutes so it's going to wait for about 2.5 minutes at this point and if you want uh, for again uh, as a good advice uh, you know what i have also done uh, is basically at the end of this you will have this json right this json will have all the information right what time it started what time it ended what was the cluster everything is there right so you can store this in a dynamo db uh, as you can see it looks like uh, it did issue the stop command at this point so if i refresh here observe i haven't stopped it okay look at this stopped right so at the end of that you could also store this metadata in dynamo db and then basically create a gsi and then you can see in a given day how many clusters were created or how many jobs were submitted you could develop a beautiful um, uh, a dashboard right of that as well so you can save all this metadata is all i'm trying to say couple of more minutes on this should be all all set guys okay so at this point i i did add a wait for about 140 seconds so it's going to wait again you don't want to directly you don't want to directly issue a delete command because it might be in the stopping state uh, and and the step function might fail right so you might want to add a delay as i said right so again once this is done i do anticipate uh, the application to be deleted automatically right and now think about it since it's a json right you can also fire or create emr serverless clusters uh, through an api right so basically your api 
will uh, pass in the JSON through API Gateway and a Lambda, and the Lambda will fire up the step function. And behind the scenes, all your you know workflow is kicking up, right? Your cluster has been created, you know. Uh, then the application will be started, the job will be submitted, it's gonna wait for the job. Once the job is completed, it will send up an alerts. Uh, then it will all, you know, destroy all the resources. It's all automation at this point, as I said, right? Uh, the more you automate, the better it is, right? In the IT industry, automation is the key, as I said. So again, this might take about a second or two, so I simply just gotta be patient at this point. But again, try to take this um, project and, you know, add, add more items to it and Please, you know, open sources, right? Like when you're doing stuff, teach other people. That's how the community will grow. And, you know, that's how, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, if, yeah, if you develop anything, if you have any good ideas, fork the repository, add to it, and then, you know, uh, you know, contribute to the GitHub repository, right? Th that's the way you want to go, right? So, again, if you observe, at, so this is that task token, right? So if you observe, create, okay, observe, delete cluster, okay? So if I now refresh, there you go, gone, everything, right? So basically this was a complete process where it essentially created a cluster, uh, you know, submitted a job. Now again, you could add alerting modules to it, right? You can publish to SNS, you can store the metadata in the DynamoDB. Uh, further, uh, you know, you could develop a GSI on the Dynamo, basically, and, and then you'll have a simple dashboard where you can select the date and you'll see in a given date how many clusters or how many jobs were submitted, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's it for this video. I uh, hope this video gives you a big picture, um, you know, about automation uh, with EMR. And if you have any more questions, let me know. The entire source code, that is the step function JSON and the input payload is given to you. So all you gotta do is go to step function, create, paste that in, and then pass in the input payload. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel. And please make sure to share the video with your coworkers and colleagues. If you have questions, please do post your question in the comments. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys next time.